Hello everybody, welcome to Moon's Place, y'all. So, day number eight, well no, poem number 18. We're on poem number 18. Um, tonight's poem is entitled, A Quick Reminisce. Um, so, it's poem number 18, April 2022. Y'all already know what it is, National Poetry Month. Thank y'all so much for being a part of this journey with me. Um, like I always say, if you missed any of the previous poems, you can go to my IG feed. They're available to you. You can also go over to your YouTube and type in Moon's Place. M-O-O-N apostrophe S, y'all. Go over to your YouTube. Check me out. Also, click the subscribe button, y'all. I, it'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to my YouTube. Um, check out any previous poems that you missed. They're available. You may come across a tarot reading that resonate with you. Um, take what resonate with you, but don't leave it, y'all. You may come across an oracle card pool that resonate with you, either in the past, present, or the future. Um, but a lot of times, it's, it's something that's going on at the moment. So... Check me out, y'all. Poem number 18. So we getting those 30 poems in there. We on poem number 18. I appreciate you all for um, coming on my live, being a part of the live with me, hanging out. I know this little piece right here. I know this, this is out, y'all. I got to I gotta retwist them. They were a little tight. And they had like the little tight bumps on my neck, so... I had to free them and let them hang out. So that's what I got going on today, y'all. But welcome, 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 welcome to Moon's Place. We hanging out. Y'all already know it's a vibe. I'm going to get a little payload, get that lit. See, I got my ancestors, y'all. I got them some cupcakes today. Cupcakes, rainwater, um, a little garlic, because I know my grandmother loved the garlic. And I also got some seeds from some fresh Japanese plums, a little bay leaves, so just a little mixture of stuff. Um, my offering to my ancestors, I welcome them into my space. My heart is open. Um, still got some rain water, so I'm leaving a little bit of it on my altar, and I'm also um, offering some to my ancestors. So that's exciting, y'all. So I love my altar. I just come in here and sit, shuffle my cards, connect, connect with my ancestors. Connect with my inner being, my spirit, meditate. It's it's a good thing. Find your space um, where you can connect with yourself. It's good. It's good for your soul. <clears throat> also, we've been doing this too, y'all. Check me out. The abundance jar. Did you see that? Yep. So I started that. It's pretty cool. I've been start. I've been doing the abundance jar. And what I do, let me see. It's kind of heavy. It's real cool so i just put i put different affirmations on it i put abundance and this is like the money grain incense so i dropped bay leaves in there and then i got some some like the ritual money all kind of cool stuff in there so that's another thing it's not really it's not on my altar but it's right here next to it so that's another cool thing that i do is the abundance jar um, and I have different candles I would light and different affirmations that I would say to attract the things that I want to attract. So <clears throat> you got to use your tools, use the things that's around you to assist with manifesting and assist like the vision boards. I know a lot of people got into the vision boards. I think that's great because anytime you visualize while you're meditating, you just bringing it, it's, it you're bringing it to yourself quicker and you want to visualize it so that you can see it. And when you see it, 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 it truly will come true. You just got to believe it. Put it out there and be done with it. Feel the way you will feel as if you've already attained it. <laughs> That's so funny. I used to love the hula hoop. Like, I got all kind of little cool things that I do. But the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all already know what that's about. But the um man on my Facebook... My high, my middle school coach go go he replied on my thing talk of some next time I need to do it around my neck. I said, Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
I didn't even know how to. But yeah, I said actually I can. I said actually I can. I can do it around my neck, arms, legs, feet, and waist. I said I may do a segment on each one of them. But anyway, let me stop playing. Um, but like I was saying, the vision boards, y'all. Those are really cool. I'm going to show y'all one of mine. Let me show you. Hold on. I'm going to turn it this way. So, that's one of them. And then if you flip it on the other side, it's actually, um, it's actually some more things on the, it's like a two-in-one vision board. It's really cool. So, um, I digress. However, I started talking about these things. I hope you all received something that's useful. From that conversation but what we're gonna do we on poem number 18 y'all know i will talk about 10 different topics and then i'll loop back around so i have to catch myself when i'm on live because i'll bounce y'all i'm all over the place so you made a hula hoop video that's so funny I'm going to check it out as soon as I get out live. That's funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm giving a little people a little bit more time to join. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. He the pop you got me tripped out for a second. So good, yeah. You should. I love it. Vision boards are really cool, y'all. So if y'all on here, y'all watching my live, if you haven't made a vision board, try it. It's a really cool form of meditation, and you visualize and you putting those things out there to the atmosphere. You putting it into your vortex, sowing those seeds. That that is something I would consider as sowing a seed, doing a vision board. Real talk. So that's cool. Another thing, y'all. Yesterday, I did a tarot reading with some new cards. I mean, with my old cards that were gifted to me. I didn't feel as connected to those as I do with my Hulu Tarot deck. I love that Hulu Tarot deck. It tell you about the plants and the scriptures and the describe the period. Like, that's the one that I resonate with. That's the one. So, I'm going back to that the next time I do a reading. And maybe tonight. I don't know. Um, But, I'm going to go back to that one. Because... I didn't feel connected with the other one yesterday. So maybe it could have just been that day. Who knows? I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm going with the flow. And the flow is the Hoodoo Tarot deck. And then clarifying it with the New Orleans Oracle deck. So we're about to go ahead and pop this poem off. It's called A Quick Reminisce. Poem number 18, y'all. National Poetry Month. There is a poem in this place. That's the campaign. Thank y'all for joining me. And let me get this laptop. All right. So, I hope y'all having a good Thursday. A good day. A beautiful day. Um, I had a great morning. I got up. I was able to do my workout. And um, have me a nice smoothie. So, I'm cool. I had a great day. I can't believe it's almost whatever time it is. It's got late pretty fast. Um, yeah. They said the time's flying when you're having fun, all right? So that's what's going on. Um, poem number 18, entitled A Quick Reminisce. Energy coming back like a boomerang. Trying to maintain and understand this gift. So I smoke a spliff and levitate. That P can make you elevate. Having intellectual deba debates and conversations about freestyles. Discussing lyrics from our favorite artists. And now I want a freestyle. Been watching too much battle rap. Now I'm reminiscing about my childhood. Cousin standing around yelling, it's a battle. So I drop a few curse words to sound good. The poet in me came up with a few bars. I remember my cousin Nikki and Star will always go hard. I, <clears throat> creative beings all through my family. My bloodline cold and my grandmother was the coldest. The only one I know who can make money grow. I always made it happen and with me, within me I can feel her spirit glow. I release and let go of what no longer serves me. I am a queen with flaws and transparency. A spiritual angel from another world. 
gracing your presence and spreading love. Tapping back to my childhood, doing the things that make me happy and feel good. Not trying to explain what's misunderstood. Everyone knew I was different when I was a child. Meanwhile, all I was trying to do was make my mother proud. Ahead of my time and never pretending, constantly ascending. The type of aura that's hard to miss. I think of my journey and I'm filled with bliss. Enjoying thoughts of a quick reminisce. Yes, y'all, a quick reminisce, okay? I be giving myself life. When I go back, I be like, yes. But a quick reminisce, y'all. Just think about my childhood. And a lot of people told me that, oh, she ahead of your time. And, oh, you grew up fast. And, but I just it was just my thought process. I had an older sister, and I watched a lot of things go on. Living in the hood will grow you up quick and it wasn't like a little fast girl ahead of my time it was like I used to want to go out in my neighborhood like my neighbor across the street Mr. Burley he had a um he was an old man he'll go straight to the porch I think his bedroom would be like it was right there by the porch so he'll walk and sit on the porch I'm up early in the morning go over there check on him I'm going to his house to get him a Pepsi out of his refrigerator get his cigarettes his lighter bring all that to him he wait for me to get up to go it was like a joy for him so get him stuff, bring it to him. Then I'm up the street to the lady named Miss Helen House. She had a hurt leg. Her leg was, they called it an elephant leg, but it was really swollen and stuff. But she couldn't walk, so she had it up on a thing, like a little ottoman that she was sitting on. Um, But she sold candy. She was the candy lady. So I would go up there and... Um, the kids would come knock on the door and stuff and I would pass them candy and do the transaction for her. And a lot of times she just said you come in, pick what you want, leave your money and go. But for whatever reason, I would go help her and uh, do the transaction with the kids. And um, she'll give me candy and I get my little candy bag and I'm out. Then I'm on the next street. Like I was just all over the neighborhood. Everybody knew me. And it's so funny because I actually got my name Moon. From my childhood, from five years old, my next door neighbor, Mr. Jimmy, gave me the um, nickname because he said my head was real big and circled like the moon. So, I always had a big head, especially when I was really little with a little body and still had a big head. <laughs> but, yes, a quick reminisce, y'all. It takes me back to those moments. Sometimes you have to look, in yourself and, look at yourself in the mirror and visualize that little kid. Um, from back in the day, tap into those things that you did that brought you joy, those creative things. Hug that little child. Visualize yourself hugging that little child, giving that little child a kiss, talking, and telling yourself you forgive yourself for whatever happened in your past. You can't hold yourself accountable for it. Well, do hold yourself accountable for it and move for it. But when you take a quick reminisce about your past, think of those things that make you feel good so that you can bring that energy to your present. And then, like I said on the other thing, bring it to your present and give out those gifts, meaning love to other people, hugs to other people, whatever those things you feel like you missed as a childhood. Give those things to people. Um, but reminiscing is good, y'all. Just focus on the good so you can feel good because it makes you feel good. So that's that. So since we since we feeling good, we're gonna go ahead and do this tarot card reading and see what spirit gotta say to us. Um I had a joke, but I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> I have myself weak. I know, I know. I hate when people do that too. I'm sorry. Damn it, I'm sorry. But no. Uh, uh oh. What we got here? Mm -mm. Let me get my hands together. Let me get my hands together. Y'all, so. I gotta come to Birmingham. I'm coming for only a couple of days. And my family be like, oh, you, you be in and out, working, moving around, doing stuff, got so many things going on. Um, but I'm in and out. So I got it set up for them to come because they, they schedule a little more open so they can come hang out here in Louisiana with a little longer than I can come hang out in Birmingham. But now anyway, so 
it's all temporary. We gotta cross these bridges so we can get to the things we truly, what our, our true hearts desire. So this transformation, this transition that I've been going through been beautiful. My plants just in here growing so much, y'all. I got an ivy. Let me show you. Let me show y'all. Y'all may see my ring light, but by now y'all should know that I don't care. So, oh, it was on the first shelf. It was on the first shelf. Now it's all the way down to the second shelf, just like that. So cool. And the one over my head is growing too. It was short. It was up at the top of the thing. But anywho, I'm excited about my plants growing. Because they ain't doing nothing but put me out in the backyard so I can get this garden going, growing too. That's my next step. Whew. Okay, spirit. My heart is open. I welcome you to my space. General message for the collective. On this 21st day of April. Transition over to the Taurus season. Taurus energy. We got that going on. We still in the Jupiter and Neptune conjunction. We still... Four planets will be aligned before April. Before the end of April. So... Some say alignment. So alignment is key. Um... Watching your emotions, going within, staying balanced, um, positive thinking, putting out what you want to receive, um, not paying attention to the things that no longer serve you, releasing, releasing them. Let it go if it don't serve you. Person, place, the thing, whatever it is. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Get some payload. Get my payload going. Y'all so funny to talk about this hula hoop. And little the managed man, my coach from middle school, y'all. He took me out. He the one took me out. I said, Lord, he the one took me out. That shit was too funny. I said, mm-mm. All right, so I'm going to do it like that, y'all, because I got it down. It's a very small piece that's in here, so I'm gonna leave it in the ashtray. Pure positive energy. Get that going. Get my cards. That payload is really some healing stuff, y'all. It just got a healing smell. It's herbal. Make you feel grounded. Here I walk me into my space. My heart is open. Oh, wow. Okay. So the ones that flipped over, thank you, Spirit. Well, Ace of Baskets on the bottom, y'all. Basket overflowing. I remember that from the other day. What we got? Two of sticks. Daughter of sticks. Hmm. Three of knives. Ace of knives. Four of sticks. And nine of sticks. These sticks, y'all. These things is out here. What we got going on over here? General Collective. Message for the General Collective Spirit. Thank you so much for trusting me with this message. My heart is open. Some just said things ain't always as it seems. So, hey, me calm down. Because I'm loving this two of sticks. It's, all, it's very prevalent. It's always been coming out. And it's so funny because it's the start of a lot of reading. I'm actually going to go back and see how many of my readings started off with that two of sticks. Repetitive. So, two of sticks. That's how signs and synchronicities work. Affirmations, all this stuff. Repetitive, repetitive. That's how it goes. So, partnerships, planning for the future, speaking your mind, progress, new inventions, ambition, being unafraid to go against the grain, um, deciding to travel or 
move overseas and the power to persuade and influence people. That partnerships keep coming out, speaking your mind, progress, um, not being afraid to go against the grain. That's been coming out in different ways, the same meaning, but in different ways. Deciding to travel been coming out. Power has been coming out and the power to influence people. That's even stronger. So that's been coming out a lot too. So, okay. Clarify. Clarify the two of sticks for me, Spirit. Clarify the two of sticks. Oh, check me out, y'all. Shuffling the book. You can clarify the two of, two of sticks for me, Spirit. Okay. Balance. Balance. Two of sticks. That makes sense. I like this card. Check out the imagery on it. The girl with the locks and the moon in the back. That balance something else. Card number 17. So, balance, y'all. Let's see what balance is telling us. It said, think of your body as a plant. <laughs> Just as plant needs a certain amount of sunlight, water, and this... Um, in the suitable environment in order to grow and be healthy, your body requires proper nourishment in order to thrive. The balance of the body can be affected not only by what you eat, but guess what? By what you think. And the surround and surroundings that we find ourselves in. This card has shown up in your reading because it is time to support your body by bringing it into a higher vibration. During this time, it is recommended that you incorporate more natural and raw foods such as salads and green juices or smoothies into your diet. Exploring mind, body, and spirit practices such as yoga, spending more time in nature will also help you find your balance that your body craves. So that's good. Okay. Daughter of sticks. So going on this journey, spending time in nature. Um, it's some type of powerful partnership that's coming up, y'all. It was, it was, it was coming up yesterday. It's coming up today. Um, so getting yourself balanced, mind, body, soul, and spirit, going within, getting yourself all the way together. So this can be a positive partnership that can that success can come from it. Some good things can come from it, but you got to work on yourself so that you can. It's like building the foundation. You can't build on a weak foundation. It's going to crumble. So strengthen your foundation, which is yourself, so that this partnership can thrive. It's a good one. Door of Sticks. Let's see. What is Door of Sticks telling us, Spirit? We got two of Sticks. We got Bali Balance. Spirit, Daughter of Sticks, if you can clarify. Door of Sticks is all about getting pumped up to get the job done. She on this horse, y'all. She riding this horse. She is ready. She ain't playing no game. She got them sticks in her hand. Let me see what they saying. She getting pumped up to get the job done and maintaining that high energy until the very end. On the positive side, she is passionate, determined, bold, free-spirited, charming, revolutionary, self-assured, and loves to travel. It's a powerful woman. I'm telling y'all, I said it yesterday. Whoever this person is, this partnership... This, this this person you got in mind, whether she know about it, whether you know her already, whether you haven't met her yet, it's a powerful woman that's going to help put you in a position that you're trying to get in because you can't do it alone. We always try to think that we can do a lot of stuff by ourselves. We can't. We need help, okay? It takes a village for a lot of things, um, including raising a child, but building these empires and attaining the level of wealth that a lot of us desire it take a team so and a lot of time it's a woman and a man um that need to be a part of that team so that's that daughter is thick she ready to get the job done she powerful she ambitious she courageous um i already know she's spiritual mind body and soul so let's see Spirit, clarify daughter of sticks for me. This partnership, we got flow. Let it flow. Don't try to worry about and think if you know who she is already and all that kind of stuff. Let it flow, y'all. <sighs> we have to take a deep breath. Let it flow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, 28, flow. 
Let it flow. It's the natural balance of all beings and things. It's the natural balance. Okay? The movement of the ocean, it don't think about flowing. It just flow. The cycles of the moon, don't think about flowing. They just flow. They're perfect examples of flow. They are ever changing without judgment in a fluid form. Okay? Much like the ocean, the human experience of flow can be rather unpredictable. However, it is always as it should be. It is time for you to be aware of what your flow is without judgment. We are our worst critic. Fuck everybody else and their opinion. We talk about us, you, me, myself, I, our inner being. So if you focus on yourself without judgment, um, because a lot of times we inherit the judgment of other people and don't even realize we're doing it, it's subconscious. So when you take remove that and you just be your true, raw, authentic self, and you look yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, what is my flow? Figure that out and it's going to feel good. So start with that. This card, I mean, this can mean anything from a minor change in daily habits that will put you more at ease to a major decision concerning career that may lead to a huge positive shift in your life. Staying in your flow simply requires the awareness of how your energy is affected by your thoughts. Back to that again. Them thoughts powerful, y'all. Whether you say it or not, they so powerful. They the key. <laughs> Tell you. In choosing the thoughts or experiences that feed into your flow instead of taking away from it. Choose the thoughts that feed into your flow. Choose the thoughts that feed into your flow. I can't say it enough. Oh, I can't say it enough. What we have with three knives. Being pessimistic and worrying about what other people got going on and talking and what they got going on in their house and this nigga dad and this bitch dad and my baby mama this and stop it. Cut it out now. It is nothing to it. It's not helping you, it's not serving a purpose. You wake up every morning and say, Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat something healthy for myself today, I'm gonna do five hundred sit ups. I'm going to um, give myself some sexual healing. I'm going to uh, read something in this book. I'm going to research. I'm going to learn three new words. I'm going to save an extra 50 a day. Um, I'm going to do this because it's going to lead to this. Uh, I'm going to be a millionaire. These are the steps I'm going to take. I'm going to get this vision board. Done. So start that freight train going to the, your wants, needs, and desires. I'm going to get this manicure, this pedicure, get my hair done, whatever we, whatever it is. Those things that make you feel good, do the things that make you happy and think the things, it start there. Think of the things that make you happy and fulfilled. So, three of knives, y'all. Spirit, what we got with three of knives? How does that connect? We got two of sticks, door to stick. So, body balance and flowing. Beginning with this partnership, we let these the ideas flow. We balancing ourselves, mind, body, and soul. We're getting out in nature. We're traveling. Okay? You may travel overseas and don't want to leave. You may travel overseas, come back, get your shit together, and move back overseas. Who knows? That's coming up. Overseas travel. <clears throat> Three of knives. Pain subsiding. Resurrection. People who are determined to survive. Renewed optimism. Okay. Seeking help for emotional problems. Learning how to cope. Accepting an apology only when you're ready. Improved health. Overcoming depression. Healing and the worst being over. That's why this is coming up so much with the balance in mind, body, and soul, and spirituality, and trusting yourself and going within. It was somebody who was... um. You was inflicting pain upon yourself. And whether it was obsession to something or someone, um, whatever it is, spirit, body balance, and flow. You probably went through a period of depression. That's why these cards, that's why spirit is saying you need to go travel. And make sure you balance yourself, getting out in nature, eating healthy, 
Because something was going on where you probably went through a bad period. Probably was overeating, stuck in the house, depressed, upset, hurts. What's going on? So some healing. Healing is very necessary at this stage. This, this energy that we're in, what's going on in the cosmic, astrologically, it, it's time to heal. You got to get over and let that shit go. Um, all that processed sugar, all that other stuff that you was that you was feeding your body, it's time you gotta eat right. Um, think of all aspects of your life and figure out which ones need balance and take the necessary steps and actions to balance those things out. Two of sticks ready to go. She ready to go with it, she ready to get this business going, connect with the right people. She thinking positive, she moving forward. So it's uh, everything is looking up. And either you was in that stage in the past and now you on the right track or you was already on the right track and you got lazy and slowed down the spirit saying, get back into it. Get back into it. No, don't think too hard about it now. Don't don't judge yourself. Don't overthink it. Don't be hard on yourself. But go with the flow and still take the necessary actions. Plan well. Still do the things that you need to do to get to where you want to go. Think positive the whole way through it. Don't think of that. It don't exist. Okay. So three of knives. We go clarify three of knives. Oh, spirit, clarify three of knives for me. Hmm. We can clarify three of knives. Okay, what we got? New beginnings. I love this card with three of knives because three of knives. You see how that tree is all dead and the leaves falling off and you got the three jars hanging from the tree? Like, it's just... And then, boom. New beginnings, just like that. And it's so funny because they both at a cemetery. You see the gravestone? And this is like a cemetery in New Orleans, but it's a it's a monument. It's some cool stuff that, um, that they got going on at the cemetery. I can read about it on the card. But anywho, the transition... So it was the past. Somebody was going through that. They was feeling that way. Um, just stay on the track that you're on. Don't lose focus and know that the 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 endings, the bad endings, is new beginnings. So focus on your new beginnings. Focus on this powerful woman that's about to come in, and whether she already in the picture or you haven't met her yet, but focus on that partnership because that's what's finna go ahead and top off the healing that you've been doing anyway. Um, and it, it could be a platonic partnership. It could be a marriage, a friend, a sister, a mother, whatever the case may be. Um, but y'all about to turn it up a notch and you got to stay on the, on the track that you're on so that you, so that the shit can work out right. Okay. So new beginnings. Then we're going to go to Ace and Nines. These Nines and Sticks, y'all. Mm. Ace and Nines. What we got? Spirit. My heart is open. Ace of Nas. Don't fall back into whatever it is that has you feeling down and depressed like that. Mm -mm. This is new beginnings. It's the spring. You saw no seeds. You're going to put some good out. It's time to receive that good. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. Stop being pessimistic. That keep coming up. Optimism is the medicine. It's the cure. To that shit that you was going through. So. Ace of knives y'all. Here we go. Facing fears. Definitely don't be scared of the growth. Okay. Logic. Triumph over adversity. Intellectuals. Mind power. Breakthroughs. Getting to the point. Clarity. Determination. Decision makers. The power of words. Um. Critical thinking, calling it as it is, and accepting the truth even when it hurts. Mm -hmm. you mentally power. You're mentally strong enough to get through this. Um, be honest with yourself. The truth hurts. It always do. Yeah, I will say it always do. I'm not going to say the truth always hurts because that's not a fact. But it can hurt. And in this situation, it do hurt. And it's okay. Be real with yourself. That's why I don't know why I was saying that before I started this reading as far as forgiving that person in the past and, and hugging that little kid and all those things that I was mentioning before I got here. It it go it 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 connects to this reading. 
gotta forgive yourself and stop judging yourself so that you can continue to grow because if you're stuck you're gonna stay stagnant and you're not gonna sin because you're stuck in some place by feeling guilty about the shit you did or whatever was going on or the depression or the time you wasted or whatever it is that um, I'm going to say excuse, whatever excuse you're giving yourself to stay stagnant, let that go and think positive thoughts so that the freight train can go in that positive direction. Because if you get it going in the negative direction too long, too fast, it's too hard to stop it. Focus on the positive. All these cards are saying that. Ace and Nile, we're going to clarify Ace and Nile. And I keep saying it. I say all throughout this live because we so you think if so you are. All these folks and all these famous people have am not saying these things for no reason. Mean stuff. It's meaningful. Not just because it sounds good. We around here quoting on our captions because it sounds good. Ace and Knives. Okay, Spirit. Thank you. Dreams. Dreams, huh? Dreams with Ace of Knives. Let me see something, y'all. New beginnings keep coming up to me. Power of words, accepting the truth when it hurt. Facing fears, clarity, and determination. Dreams. Let's see what Spirit has to say to us about this. So we got to pay attention. There's a foul line between a conscious state and a dreaming state. During your dreaming state, your dreams can represent premonitions as well as simple energy outlets for your underlying thoughts and concerns. So a lot of times we dream about the things we think about. Um, think about that positive stuff, y'all. Now is the time to pay careful attention to your dreams. Keeping a dream journal, whether verbal or written, will help you to recall your dreams. Your dreams may be trying to tell you something important about how you really feel about things that go on in your life when you're awake. These may be feelings that you do not fully understand or ones that you may be trying to ignore. Don't be your own worst enemy. Four sticks. And we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to say that and we're going to keep it moving. Four sticks. A cause for celebration, a special event, laying down roots, feeling blessed, harmonious interactions, taking things to the next level, prosperity, family reunions, freedom, teamwork, making the dream work, the partnerships, teamwork, making the dream work. It's two people. That's all it is, is you and it's somebody else that's going to get the job done. Y'all go set the foundation to bring generational wealth, to create those jobs, to do the things that you want to do, but you got to go within mind, body, and spirit. Get that body balance, flow, go with the flow, trust yourself. Let the past go, it's gone. Dreams coming true, feeling good about yourself, something wonderful to look forward to, y'all. It's always a light at the end of the tunnel if you just really believe that. Law of attraction. Put it out there so you can get it back. Watch what you put out because it's coming back in some way, shape, or form. Trust that. Four of sticks, spirit. Clarify four of sticks for me. We got two of sticks, four of sticks, three of knives, ace of knives, four of sticks, spirit. We got new beginnings. Paying attention to our dreams, premonition, focusing on what we want, pure positive thoughts. Thank you. Keep going. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. You're on the right track. Keep going. These partnerships, you see that? It's the four sticks. There's two individuals that's on there. Keep going. Forgive yourself. Forgive those people around you. Keep it moving. How to keep going. They determine. You determine. Okay? So let it flow. That's the card that goes with that one. Let it flow. Keep going. Spirit, what does keep going say? What are we, what, what are we doing with this one? 
there are many times when we feel like we haven't had enough, done enough, or been through enough. These feelings of frustration are just reminding that we are not yet where we want to be, but we are on our way. Stop being so hard on yourself. Don't be your own worst critic. Time is, is an illusion, okay? Just go with the flow. Like the ocean, like the moon, like what life go do anyway. You're not hearing the trees grow. That's the meaning that's been going around. You don't hear it grow. You don't hear the leaves come back in the spring. You walk back outside and you see the trees and like, oh, the leaves are, they're back. They just, that's the same energy you want when you be creating these businesses and trying to create gener generational wealth and you manifest and you praying and you believe in, that's the same energy. You know that it's going to happen. You know them trees go grow them leaves. That same energy. It's easier said than done, but when you can tap into that flow and get into receptive mode in that manner, you'll be amazed at the shit that can happen. Sometimes we be so focused on where we are not that we forget just how far we've come. Right now, it is important that you continue to move forward no matter how small the steps may seem. You are on the right track and success will be inevitable. But if you allow yourself to dwell on the negative thoughts and put your energy into things that you cannot control, then you are more likely to buy into the illusion of being stuck, stagnant, and it will be harder for you to move forward. Keep fucking going. And I'm saying it like this because it's somebody that's hard-headed. I'm talking to a hard-headed person. Keep going, okay? Stop being hard-headed. Stop being judgmental. Not to other people, but to yourself. You're doing this to yourself. And it's domino in effect to the other people that you love. So, stop being hard-headed. Spirit, we're going to close out our message with the nine of sticks. Y'all, she got a gun and a Bible in her hand. How about that? Nine of sticks. Okay, let's see. What, let's see. The imagery on these cards. One day I'm going to read y'all about the imagery, but right now we, work, we focus on the message. Defending yourself, a test of faith, perseverance, being prepared, a fight to the death, willpower, resilience, resilience guarding your boundaries, and an attitude of would the brethren would having an attitude of would rather do than die. Fighting to the death, guarding your boundaries, defending yourself. Okay. And it can also mean refusing to compromise and having no backbone, getting hurt as a result of trusting the wrong people. Okay, so this is, this is a hard-headed person. So look, defending yourself, a test of faith, perseverance, being prepared. So it's not going to be an easy journal, journey. It's not going to be an easy journey. Perseverance, a test of faith, defending yourself. So you're going to have to trust yourself enough to defend yourself no matter what nobody got to say about what you're doing. Do what feel good. If you go quit your job to tr trust yourself to follow your dreams, you got to do it and you got to be courageous. You got to persevere. You got to. What keep coming to me is fuck them people. I kid you not. You can't worry about what other people got to say. It's going to be a lot of battles that you're going to have to fight to get there. That's why that mind body soul balance card keep coming up that's why that's so important because your foundation got to be solid in the mud it got to be so solid because people are going to come at you but long as you're solid long as you're protecting yourself defending yourself spiritually physically and emotionally you're going to be good but you got to know that you're good if you don't know that you're good then i don't know what to tell you Strengthen yourself, mind, body, and soul. Be optimistic. Spirit, close out my message, please, and clarify the nine of sticks. You can clarify the nine of sticks. That's why this powerful woman is coming into the picture, because you need this partnership. You're going to need it, because all the shit that's going to come along with this great success, 
you're going to need that partner. Trust it, okay? This is the card. I'm going to pull them to see what it say. Create your own reality. And focus at the bottom. Create your own reality. Uh-oh. Create your own reality. No matter what nobody else got to say about it, it's your reality. Okay. Three, three. And I ended with the three, three again. Isn't that something? Perception, illusion, and transformation in mental energy. You have pulled this card because you've grown stronger in your manifestation skills. And it's necessary to pay attention to where you choose to focus your thoughts and energy. Think about what you want, not about what you don't want. As a recent situation, I've been to your liking and led you to focus on what is lacking as opposed to what is abundant. Don't focus on it. Focus on what's abundant. Focus on what you want, the outcomes you want to see, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what hardships come up, no matter what battles may come up, you have secured yourself. You good. You can fight the good fight. Look at this. All these protection. You good. Believe in yourself. Mm hmm It's some battles. Come. She on this horse with these sticks. She ready. I'm talking about it's some battles coming up, but it's okay. Keep going. A lot of times when you're real close, that's when those battles start coming up. See what is leading her? Keep going. Create your own reality. Continue to manifest. Continue to believe. Continue to use the tools that you have around you to, to manifest easier. Your vision boards, your crystals, your Bible, praying, your family, your wife, your husband, whoever it is you have around you that motivates you. The people that you look up to, call those people, be around those people, do those things that make you feel good. That's the key to tapping into this energy. Those battles not going to be so big. They're not going to... They not gonna, Hit is hard because you preparing yourself for them. It's not like it's going to come out the blue. Prepare yourself now for those battles. So when they come, you can just brush and keep on moving like ain't shit happen. So it is now time to mindfully choose what you will focus on as you move forward in life. And just like that. And that's how I'm going to end that. Let me read that again. It is now time to mindfully choose what you will focus on as you move forward in life. And what I said the last card was focus. I'll be like, squirrel, and everything that just passed by, you just lose focus real quick. No. Mm -mm. Be through with that too. Be done with all of that. Ace of baskets. That's the bottom card for this one. Cup. Basket overflowing, abundance, prosperity, success is yours for the taking. It's ours for the taking. It's abundant. There's a lot of it out here. So, trust yourself. I'm going to end the reading three times. I'm going to read it one more time. It is now time to mindfully choose what you will focus on as you move forward in life i'm gonna leave it at that moon signing out y'all have a good night i hope y'all enjoyed my poem i hope y'all enjoyed the reason take i mean the reason take what resonate with you but don't leave it Mwah.